Good morning, guys and gals. Madman Mandela coming at you live from the Garden Joe Garage here in beautiful Alabama once again. And, uh, well, Mr. Zach Greenleaf. Okay, Zach, we went ahead and purchased the console at the website. Mm -hmm. Zach, here it is, man. All right, this little puppy is a uh, Jasper Super Relief Board. Okay, it's got the MW2 case on it. All right, got a 250 gig drive in it. Cool runner rev scene installed, RGH 1.2 method. Okay, up on the line servers, along with the 10 day trial of Perch 4.0 as well as uh, the college football revamp mod for NCAA 14, it's the updated one, all right, and uh, we have uh, BO2, MW3, and Ghost Oil Post, as well as Jiggy and Sentinel, all right. Now, that's this thing up on a wireless adapter. Uh, it's the same thing that you would, you you know, if you plug a LAN cord in, you know, pretty much it's going to be the same stuff to get it online for the first time, so I'm just going to go through that with you, all right, but we're going to go ahead, we're going to fire up the console now. Uh, please pay attention to the screen. Watch your boo. Hey, Lazy, what's happening, man? Good to see you, brother. What you been up to? Hope everything's been going good for you. Everything's going crazy for me, but it's all good. <laughs> anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't faze me. So life is good. So anyway, we're booting up. We're going to get the uh, notification from the server, letting us know it's online, live, and all that other happy nonsense. We're going to boot into Empathy Dash. Then I'm going to show you what you got on this crazy thing. All right? You are. Okay, you're all time purge. And uh, you're going to see that uh, you can be signed into a line server. There you go. All right. Let's scroll on over. <clears throat> okay. Under emulators, you got NES emulator. Okay. You got SNES emulator. You got MAME that plays every freaking thing under the sun. You got Genesis Plus 360. You got Game Boy Advance. All right. Xbox Classic Games. A couple classic games on here that you can play from the original Xbox. Your homebrew section with the tools reside where you can blow the console up. All right. Uh, Xbox Live Arcade, some Live Arcade games on there that uh, if you're into, well, there they are. All right, and then of course we've got the meeting system, the Xbox 360 games, okay? Now, we start off with Advanced Warfare and work our way through. we got Saw, you know, Red Dead Redemption, NCAA Football 14, that's the College Football Revamp model on there. Okay, MW3, you know, Modern Warfare 2, Minecraft, Halo Reach, Halo 3, uh, Grand Theft Auto 5, uh, Gears of War Judgment, Gears of War 3, Gears of War 2, Gears of War, uh, World of War, Black Ops, uh, Black Ops 2, no, excuse me, Black Ops 3, sorry about that, those, Black Ops 2, Call of Duty, Black Ops, okay, uh, Call of Duty 4, Call of Duty 3, Call of Duty 2, uh, Battlefield Bad Company 2, Battlefield 4, okay, and back to Advanced Warfare, so you got a whole bunch on there that should keep it busy for a while. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the original dashboard, so you're going to go to the homebrew section right here, we're going to go ahead, we're going to hit this up here, and this is going to take us to the original dash, you'll see a square pop up with your name on it. That's the server. There you go, welcoming you, and you have 30 reserve days left. Got it good. Okay? Now, what we're going to do, we're going to bypass the sign-in. Okay? You're going to see that it's up, it's online, it's live. Our beautiful eyeball pleasing HUD. Over on our fifth tab are, is our ghost sheets, uh, BO2 sheets, Model Warfare 3, Model Warfare 2, so on and so forth. Okay? Now, they're enabled when, when you start up the server. When you start the console up, they're enabled. Okay? They're disabled, just hit add. Alright? And, and then it's disabled. Okay? You can see the sheet up on the screen. Okay? So on and so forth. Now, We'll go ahead, we'll get back to the, uh, we'll get back to Empathy Dash, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to run through some, uh, how do you get a stealth server on your RGH? Well, you put it in plug-in, too. That's, uh, you know, you put it in plug-in, too, and then you log on to your stealth server, and it all depends on what stealth server you're running. So, now, okay, anyway, needless to say, we're back here at, uh, Empathy Dash, all right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign in with an offline profile first, okay, there you go. All right, and here we are, don't judge, don't say a word, Okay. We'll go over to Xbox 360 games, all right? And what I'm going to do is, is I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and show you that you got NCAA Football 14. You got the College Football Revamp mod. Now this gets rather loud. I don't know if they boosted the sound on it when they did the mod to this crazy. Justin, how are you, man? Good to see you. All right. So anyway, this is a to start off. Okay, so it's a way different than the sports. Okay, it's been modified. All right. Just go away to the updated files from the CFR, uh, from, from the uh, CFR uh, website. All right, now you can go to their GitHub, and you can download more rosters for this thing and everything else and inject them. Okay, there's instructions on that, how to do that. It's, it's rather simple, okay, so you shouldn't have a problem doing that, okay? Now, um, you know, everything is available on the website, okay, well, on, on their GitHub, actually. All right, so we'll hit start. All right, just to show you that's working and that's running and all that happy nonsense, okay? It's going to get to the title screen. All right, there we are. Okay, now. Yeah. Of course, you got play now. All right, you got execution, practice, coach, one button mode, mashup, all that crap. All right, you got the dynasty. You got the road to glory. 
You got your ultimate team. You got the 2020 season on there. Also, the 2021 season is on there as well, okay? Xbox Live, My NCAA Legacy, EA Sports X, Bruce, you know, the team management settings, all ready to go, okay? And you're all ready to go. So all you got to do is go ahead, load your live player on there, your, 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 live, uh, your live profile on there, and let it rip skip. This is good to go, all right? So anyway, there you are, all right? Now we're going to back out of here. All right, now what we're gonna do, all right, is this is this is the uh, this is the crazy part right here that we're gonna do. All right, this is going. I'm gonna use BO2 to uh, show you, you know, the mods on the site. All right, now it's been around for a long time, okay. And what's on there is Jiggy and Sentinel, your GSC menus that are on BO2. All right, now that's not not that's not an off post. The off post is a separate menu, okay, that's provided by the server. Okay, so. Yeah, but somebody asked me about that. And uh, one more thing is this, is the all post is on the server, okay? That's a cheat, okay? The the menus, the GSC menus are injected into the uh, BO2 folder, okay? Like, um, well, I'll just show you just for an example, okay? Just quickly. We'll go to HD1, we'll go to games, we'll go down to BO2, there we go. All right, now, when you go to Raw, all right, you'll see the under the maps, MP, all right, you'll see game type ZM, that's zombies menu right there. And game types, that's going to be jiggy. There's the ambient package, you see development, the bars, and all that kind of crap. All that stuff goes in there. So there, so it's two totally different separate menus from the off post, okay? It's just on BO2, all right? So just to show you, all right? Now we'll back out of here and go and get the hell out of there, okay? And then what we'll do is we'll go down to games, all right? Uh, you know, somebody asked me that, so I just figured I would explain it, okay? So there you go. All right, so now we'll start up BO2, and you'll see that BO2 cheats, well, it's, uh, well, BO2 is bypassed, you see that cheats will be loaded, okay, and you'll be good to go. All right, now, for the all-post, you pad left to open it, X to select, you need to back out, you pad left to close it, all right? For Jiggy, holding left trigger, push down the right thumbstick, A to select, X to back out. For set for holding left trigger, push down the right thumbstick, X to select, Holding my trigger, push down the right thumbstick to back out of it, in the back out of the sub menu, okay? I know it's confusing, uh, you know, like I said, they're different menus, two total, you know, totally different programs, you know, I mean, so there you go, alright? So anyway, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start this thing up, and I'm gonna show you multiplayer mode on here, because this covers, uh, you know, the off post and also, uh, you know, these GSC menus, and also, you know, with the off post, it works the same way for all of them. Okay, that, that are mentioned in the guide. Okay, so, you know, it's the same controls, all right, just so you know. So anyway, we're going to multiplayer right now. All right, you'll see that it's going to say, uh, the cheats are loaded and that uh, BO2 is now bypassed because we're running a totally different FTX. So, of course, we have to reload it. That's the way that works, okay? There you are. Okay, and now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and go to local. All right, I'm going to set up some dummies for target practice. I'm going to go ahead and start the match. All right, and the match is going to start... There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm going to start off with Jiggy, alright, and then I'm going to run through some uh, mods on it, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the off post, okay? Just to show you, just to demonstrate, alright? So anyway, here we go. I'm going to grab a gun, hold in my trigger, push down the right thumbstick, there's Jiggy, A to select, okay, we're going to go down to quick mods, then what we're going to do, we're going to hit X to back out of there, we're going to go to bullets, alright, I'm going to grab these, and these, and these, and these, these and what the hell the hair of the dog okay then we'll back out of here we'll back out of here okay now what i'm going to do all right i'm going to go ahead i'm going to open up the all post d-pad left there's the all post right there x to select use the d-pad and x to motivate down okay we'll go ahead and, yeah we're going to go on screen okay we're not going to use auto aim because that's just ridiculous okay then we'll go ahead, we'll use, uh, we'll put pyramids around them and do all this. Now, you can set it up any which way you want, doesn't really matter. Okay, we'll back out of here. We'll hit the B button once again, stand up, D-pad left to get out of there. Now, we'll go here with the snap line, turn it blue, we'll let him have it, okay? We can fly through the air, do the jiggy, okay? And we can just pretty much destroy everything that we want, and then some, okay, including everybody on the freaking map, as you can see, okay? And it all works really good, all right? Now, if you want to be a real dick, well, just go go on over to aimbot. Don't do this in a lobby, my God. Okay, go to unfair aimbot. Now you can keep your building schools and everything else, and uh, pretty much uh, you're gonna win the match. There you go. 
if you're in loud mode and nobody can touch you. Okay, but don't do that because that's just like ridiculous. I mean, it's just showing what you can do. Alright, that's five year old figure stuff like that. Okay, so <laughs> I mean, be nice with your minds. Help people out. Don't 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 do this crap, okay? It's just a demonstration, like I said. Alright. So anyway, there it is, we're done, we're good. Okay, now I'm gonna see zombies once we get out of here. Alright, we're gonna back out of here. Okay? And then we're gonna leave the lobby, yes, we're gonna back out of here, we're gonna go to zombies, we're gonna fire that up. The sentinel's a little different. Sentinel, you're holding left trigger, push down the right thumbstick, X to select, holding left trigger, push down the right thumbstick to back out of the sub menu and to back out of the menu completely. Alright, so we'll go to local right here. Okay. And there we are. Alright, I'm glad we'll grab hold of that. We'll do transit, good. Start the match. Okay. You'll see instructions pop up over here too on how to use the menu. Alright, so just pay attention to that if you forget. Or you can refer back to this video. Doesn't matter. It's all good. Alright, so now we're gonna load up. Okay, and away we go. And there we are. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna open the menu, left trigger, right thumbstick. Okay, there you go. Use X to select. Turn this on and this on. There's no way to get this place this, And this. Okay. Then what we'll do, we'll back out of this menu, we'll go to the weapons menu, we'll grab a real big friggin' boom stick here, okay? There you go. So and then a fully automatic RPG, pretty much, uh, you can destroy everything and anything and not have to worry about getting blown up because it's a god mode. Okay, as you can see. Alright, in the zombies menu you can spawn some more. They come right out of the sky, there you go, you can blow them the hell up too. Alright, if you wanna kill, you wanna kill all the zombies on the, uh, on the round, well that's really easy. There you go, done. And uh, done, done. As you can see, that's two right there. They're all, that's all done. All right, so on and so forth. Okay, uh, you can do a lot of stuff with this menu. It's got it's got all kinds of good stuff on it. Okay, so we'll go ahead. We'll get out of there. All right, you got the four main zombies menu, power ups, rounds menu, all that. Really, how you doing? Okay, not too good if you're you. Okay, uh, map mods, you know, lobby mods, game settings, menu settings, players menu, all players menu, so on and so forth. Okay. So there you go, everything all works all right. Now what we'll do is we'll get out of here, okay? We'll go back. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into GTA 5, I'm gonna show you a little bit of Perch 4.0 and also the older menu, which is 3.9, all right? Um, I'm gonna get back to FSD Dash here. Okay, pretty much it works pretty seamlessly. You don't have to go, you know, you don't have to go any special route or anything like that. We'll just go on over, we'll go to Xbox 360 games. We'll go to GTA 5, okay, here you go. We'll hit that, start that up. All right, so to start, you can see a text box pop up. Use the default uh, D-pad left and X to open up 3.9, all right, because uh, you don't want to open up 4.0 with the same controls, because if you do, then all kinds of crazy stuff happens. It's not a good thing, all right? So, there we go. We use open that, we'll open D-pad left and X. That's 3.9 menu. Then, of course, you got 4.0 menu, all right? So now, this thing's going to boot up, and i got a game save on here, and uh, we're going to boot into that, and I'm going to show you some things with this menu here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get online for the first time with this thing, which is going to be very important. I'm going to show you how to unlock your XBLA and your downloadable content, okay, which is going to be another important thing because if you don't do that, you won't be able to use it, all right? And then we'll go over emulators and we'll go over classic games and then we'll be good to go, all right? And then this thing is going out, all right? And I got a bunch I got to do, so that's the reason why I'm like kind of moving along here, all right? So, anyway, this uh, post office situation with the shipping and everything, oh my God, I finally got Finally got more more consoles and I'm like going like, oh, thank you guys. Okay, you know, I'm Ugh, I'm telling you. I don't understand what's going on with the post office, but they are taking their sweet time on everything lately. It's making me nuts. Pickle Rick and Morty console. I did that already. Okay, I did that, Antonio. I did. Pickle Rick. <laughs> okay. Anyway, alright, there's Perch 4.0, okay? First we're gonna back out of that. Alright. Now I'm gonna open up 3.9. Okay, I'm gonna hit I'm gonna go ahead and hit A to select. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do that, uh, do that, do that, do that. Turn this crap on here, okay? Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to MISC options right here. Alright, I'm gonna back up the time so that way you're able to see. Okay, because this monitor sucks. So anyway, we'll make it a little bright out, okay? Now we'll back out of here, we'll back out of here. We'll close that menu, now we're gonna open up 4.0. Alright, now, we'll hit X, I mean A. Select this. I ah, know, leave that off. 
Uh, let's see here. Gives self ammo, uh, infinite ammo, super punch, super run, super jump, super swim. No rag down, phone DMD. You get out of there. Quick options, okay? You got slow mo, you got go off the radar when you're online, clean pad, invisible pad, invisible vehicle. Alright? Back out of there. Okay? Now, let's step outside here for a minute. You can go into drone mode while you're inside, too. It doesn't really make a difference, but drone mode gives you a nice view of the world. Okay? You can zoom in, zoom out, bring it down, look straight down. I mean, do all kinds of crazy stuff, okay? Now, you can teleport your player anywhere you want in the target zone. Here. Okay? Uh, let's see here. Yeah, here, in the trees. Here. Here. Wherever you want to go. Okay? You can teleport them. Alright? So, there we are. Alright, now. Air superiority, that's pretty much self-explanatory, okay? Now, all right, when using RB, okay, that's your fast missile. Using LB, that's your slow missile, like uh, right here. I do not have a car anymore or a motorcycle, but I'm still alive because I'm in God mode, okay? And you can target anything that you want. You can target any of the traffic that you want, you know, any cars, you know, I mean, so on and so forth. You know what I'm saying? You can get them from above. Then, of course, we've got slow missiles, too, okay? We can zoom out and zoom in, okay? And there they go, okay? You can watch them going in, all that kind of good stuff, all right? So, that's air superiority, okay? RC car mode, if you're in a car and you hit drone mode, you can remote control You can remote control the car, okay? Creator mode, all right? Uh, vehicle spawner. You can spawn all kinds of vehicles wherever you want, like, uh, like you know, whatever you want to spawn, okay? See? You can spawn any of these cars, all right? Say, like, uh, put this one here and here and here and here and here. You can make a supercar freaking junkyard, okay, or whatever you want to do. Back out of there, we'll back out of there, okay? Now, you got PTFX spawner too as well, all right? Now, okay, now I'm going to exit out of drone mode here, okay? And then what I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you a couple other things, okay? Look, you got my player, okay? It shows your player the heading, armor, all that kind of crap and everything else, okay? It shows all that kind of good stuff, all right? Now, all players, that's when you're online, you can show all players in the session, you can show their headings, everything, you can tag them, do whatever you want to do with them, okay? Well, back out of there. Teleport locations, bunch of teleport locations, every every teleport location that's on there, there it is, okay? You can stash your current location, keep it stashed, you shut the console, turn it back on, all the goes, okay? I mean, there it is, so it's all good, alright? Then you have recovery options, that's online mode only, okay? And, you know, uh, right now, this, this profile's not online, and I'm not going to get online with your console, okay? So, you know, that's just the way it is. All right, character options, okay? Statue, current pad var variation, model changer, component prop editor, genealogy editor, restore original. Like, uh, component prop operator, uh, you know, mask, hair, torso, you can change texture, drawable, you know, I mean, palette, you know, you can do anything you want with it, okay? Reset appearance, remove props, restore, uh, restore default components, all that crap, okay? Uh, genealogy editor, editor. You can change the head of his shape. You can change his body. You can change. You can get. You can give him a JJ instead of a penis if you want. It doesn't really matter. Okay. You do anything you want in there. Okay. Yeah, okay. You can blend the damn head. Okay. Then you can restore the original. Okay. Animations. There's a whole bunch of stuff on there. You got ambient animations where you can make them do all kinds of crazy, friggin' stupid crap. All right. Uh, fluid animations. You can make them do an alien run, drunk as fuck, all that crap. That's all there. Scenarios, you can put them in any kind of world scenario that you want that's on there, that's available, okay? And there, I mean, there's a bunch on there, my God. All right? So on and so forth, okay? Model changes, you can change what you look. You, you, you can change into anything that you want, okay? Like, um, if I want to be masculine and be a Marine, yes, there I am. Look at me. Ha-ha! Or I can be a Merc, okay? There you go. Or I can be, I, I can get in touch with my feminine side and become super stripper with my friggin' dong! Yeah! Look at that, huh? Nice crack. Ah, okay, so anyway, yeah, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff like that, all right? What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to I'm gonna return this back, okay, and just like, there, okay? I like being original, okay? So anyway, there you go. Pet options. Pet spawner. Spawn anything you want. An FIB, okay? A snow cop, all right? Or more strippers, yes. A lot more strippers, yes. All kinds of them. And then some, okay? As you can see, there you go. Okay, so we got a bunch of strippers there, too. Okay, now, you can go ahead and back out of there, okay? You can go to the Spawn Pets Manager right there, and now you can delete pets, like if you want to get rid of this guy because you don't want to you don't want to share your women, okay? All you got to do is highlight it, delete him, and he's gone. <laughs> All right, that, that's a good way to get get rid of people, you know? I mean, it works really good. See, and then you got this guy, 
you see the arrow is selected, right? Now, now we don't want to get rid of the hookers. No, we don't want to do that. But we do want to get rid of him because he couldn't so much stop. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll delete him. Okay, you can teleport to the pegs, whatever you want to do. Okay, it's crazy. All right, so there you go. Vehicle options. That's to change your paints. That's to change um, your armor, your engine. You know, the vehicle char characteristics, all that crap. You got Los Santos Customs, that's the spawn stuff and everything. And then you got my favorite, the weapons option. When you have the gravity gun. Okay? And then you can grab hold of this thing right here. Like this. And now we can use it. And we can throw it around. Bring it back. And we can cause all kinds of havoc and destruction and everything else. Okay? And wreck all kinds of stuff with it. As you can see, it goes through. It becomes a hell of a weapon, let me tell you. And then you can bring it back here. Okay? And it'll come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go, okay, there it goes, you know, and then you just fling it up in the air and let her go, okay? Grab hold of this one, too, see? Oh, God, that hurt. All right, hold on here, there we go. All right, we can get rid of this one, too. Hey, look at that, bam! Okay, so, as you can see, works really good, okay? Works kind of excellent, all right? Um, looks like I killed some strippers. Whoops, a daisy. Okay, and then, of course, you got the stripper flinger, okay? Um, gravity gun, we'll turn that off, okay? Stripper flinger, well, when in doubt, throw them out, okay? So as you can see, you can use them as a weapon too. Use them as a weapon against the fire truck. Give the fire guys uh, something to talk about, okay? All that kind of good stuff, yeah. And then, um, you know, you can also turn the gravity gun back on, and then you can gain some velocity on them, as you can see, okay? And then you can just wheel them around, okay? Throw them around and all that kind of good stuff, see? Beat them up. Throw them around. Yeah, you know, they'll come back. See? See, she always comes back. She's like a freaking boomerang, okay? You know? Works real good, let me tell you. And then you just get rid of her. See? There she goes. Alright? So anyway, yeah, that's that. Okay, you got force field, you know, where you can walk around and anything that is not well blow fall over, get sick, die, all this crap and everything else, okay? So there's a bunch of stuff on there that you can do. Alright? So as you can see, yeah, it's starting to move cars and everything else, okay? Stuff is getting blown up as I'm walking by. Now, these cars are in God mode. That's why I, uh, nothing's happening to them, okay? But uh, pretty much, as you can see, one that's not, well, we get blown up, okay? That's more so mode, okay? So, got missed options, protections, menu options, okay? Uh, you can change the size of the menu, move it around, all that kind of good stuff right there. Okay, there you go. All right. Yep, and then we'll uncheck that. Okay, got creator mode. That's for drawing debug lines and all that. Ray cast mode. Show tag entity card. All that crap, okay? There's a bunch of stuff on there. I love the screens, okay? And then you got my stash stuff. That's where you can, you know, edit all your stash stuff, okay? And it will, of course, it will show what you stashed and what not, okay? You have better options than you made in frames per second. So anyway, pretty much, uh, there you go. Alright, that's Purge 4.0 in a nutshell. Alright, so now we're going to get out of there, okay? Lots of fun with that menu. Okay, now, all right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get this thing online for the first time, okay? This is very important. Please pay attention to this, otherwise you're going to wind up with a mess on your hands, okay? And I don't want I don't want you to wind up like that, all right? I want you to be able to, you know, be able to work this thing, okay? So what we're going to do, all right, is we're going to go ahead and we're going to power this thing down, okay? Now, when you first get this thing, all right, this is what you got to do, okay, when you first get it, okay? It's very, very, very important, all right? Look. Pull a hard drive. Now, you plug your Ethernet cable in or whatever, okay? I'm going to use Wi-Fi because it's going to be the same thing, all right? Plug it in, okay? Power the thing on. You original dashboard, okay? You're not going to get the fancy dashboard or anything like that. Now, once that happens, I'm going to bring you over and I'm going to show you Okay, that you're gonna go to you're gonna go to settings, system, and then network settings. Okay, so here we go. We'll go on over. We sync up the controller here. Go over settings, system. Okay, network settings. Okay, now you see it's already picked. Okay, if you're using a Wi-Fi, it's gonna pop up over here. You click on it, put your password in. Okay, same thing. If you're using a wired network, that's gonna be check marked up, and you just go to test the Xbox Live connection. So same thing. So anyway, we'll go ahead. We'll hit that. And then what we'll do is we'll test the Xbox Live connection. You're going to get Nexus. That's what you need to have, okay? And that's all that you need to have for right now. All right, so anyway, it's going to check it. We'll cancel out of that. Now, 
As long as you have that check mark there, you're good, because that means you're connected to your router. Very, very important. If you don't connect to your router, you're going to have problems, okay? So you got to make sure that you're connected to your router, all right? These two we don't care about right now. We don't want to connect to Xbox Live with a modified bootloader without a stealth server. That's the reason why it's just failed and blocked, okay? Because it's blocked by dash launcher, protecting the KV. So, once we have that and everything, power it off, okay? Then what I want you to do is I want you to put the hard drive back on, just like that. And then I want you to pull the power cord on this thing and leave it out for five minutes, okay? If you don't leave it out for five minutes, you're going to wind up with a mess on your freaking hands. Because what's going to happen is the DNS is going to be all wrong. It ain't going to connect to live, all right? You'll have connection to the Internet. You'll have connection to Purge server. You'll have connection to the Alliance server. But uh, as far as Xbox Live, your DNS will be all screwed up. So you got to leave this out for five minutes, okay? After five minutes is up, grab hold of it, plug it in, all right? Now, the only reason why I'm doing that, it's already on my network, so hopefully it shouldn't give me a problem, although sometimes it has. I'll be honest, it happens. I mean, I sit there and wait five minutes, or i got to plug the Ethernet cord in to reset the DNS, and then everything will be fine. But, in your case, five minutes, let it sit. All right, after that, power it on. All right, now it's going to boot up. And, like I said, this thing is a very, very fast booter. RGH 1.2 always is. Okay kind of hard to screw screw RG 1.2 up all right now what's gonna happen is you see the green stuff moving around well that stopped that means it locked the server now once it locks the server you're gonna see it's gonna boot up in the FSD dash I'm gonna get some notifications from the server letting us know that it, you know it's connected and all that happy nonsense there you go and then we're gonna get one more from the purge that's good and then we're gonna make sure that it's on live okay and how we're gonna do that we're gonna go on over to the homebrew section once we go to the homebrew section what you're going to do you're going to go ahead and you're going to go to the Xbox 360 dashboard. Hit it. Start it. Okay? You'll see a square pop up. There it is with your name on it. That's good. That means that the DNS is good to Xbox Live. Okay? Alright, now, what you're going to do is I want you to make a modest profile. Go to xboxlive.com slash live and make a modest profile. Don't download your retail profile on here because if you have a lot of stuff into it and you got money into it, you don't want to lose it. Okay? Because this is a modified bootloader and... Anybody that says, oh, my server will never ban you and never be, never do this, never do that, is lying. Because you cannot, you're not God, you don't know. If the network goes down during a challenge response, well, guess what? Everything's going to be gone, okay? It ain't going to be cool. You're going to lose the KV. You're going to probably use your profile or whatever. Not to mention also people report profiles that do crazy things, okay? You know, so that's another thing you got to worry about, all right? So anyway, look, if you're going to mod, you're going to get crazy with this thing. Go to xboxlive.com slash live, make a profile, and then download it to here, okay? Once it downloads, it's going to look like this, all right? It's going to go ahead and spin it around. You're going to see the spinning circle of death. Then it's going to sign in. You're going to watch your profile come up and wave at you, and life is good, all right? Now, in the event that it gives you a problem downloading, which does happen at times, all right? It, you know, it does get corrupt or whatever sometimes. Well, at the loading screen, if you're sitting there for 15 minutes, hasn't downloaded, you got a problem, Okay? So back out of that with the B button, come here, go up, go over, go to settings, go to system, all right, and then go to storage, okay? Now, storage, highlight, this, uh, highlight the hard drive, hit A, go to profile. Underneath this profile will be the profile that you downloaded, okay? I want you to hover down to it, select A, and delete it right off the hard drive, okay? Just get rid of it, it's no good, all right? Back out of here, back out of here, all right? Back out of here. Leave the hard drive highlighted, hit Y, okay? Clear the system cache, do it twice, so that's once. And then we're going to do it one more time, okay? And there you go, all right? That's twice. Now, once that happens, back out of here, back out of here. Up, over, social, sign in, sign out, okay? And then download your profile again. It will download. Everything will be fine. Once it downloads, hit the guide button, Xbox Home. Take that back to FSD Dash. Then what we're going to do, we're going to go into XM360, okay? That's the tools that we're going to use to unlock everything to this console and to that profile that you downloaded, okay? This is very important. Do not forget to do this, okay? Because if, if DLC is locked up or XBLA is locked up, you can't use it, even though it's on the hard drive. So, I cannot stress the fact enough that you need to go here, go to the homebrew section, open that up, go to XM360, hit it, hit it again. What it's going to do is it's going to build a content list of everything that's on this hard drive, okay? When it does that, it's going to build the XBLA list, and it's going to build the uh, DLC list, okay? When that happens, then we're going to unlock everything. We're going to make sure everything is unlocked, okay? Because it's got to be hashed to the console properly, all right? Also, remember, 
when downloading DLC and downloading XBLA, if you download it to the hard drive and you put it in the proper spot under the content folder or the title media idea or wherever it needs to go, all right, you got to unlock it, okay? So make sure you come to this tool and unlock the stuff, all right? So anyway, here we go. Good. We're just going to go on over. We're going to go to unlock XBLA. We're going to hit it, okay? Zero files are unlocked because they're already unlocked to this profile, okay? Then we're going to go show DLC, downloadable content, okay? Go over. Whoop. Go over, go to unlock DLC, it's going to unlock 10. Okay, well this time, they've already been unlocked, so life is good. Alright, so there you go. So everything's all unlocked and you're good to go. Alright, once that happens, exit the dash. Alright, now. Okay, and now you can feel free to roam and play and do whatever it is that you want to do. Okay, now, emulators, they play, they play with the server on and off, it doesn't make a bit of difference, okay. So, uh, just to show you here. Go to emulators, okay, we'll use main this time, we'll hit main, main plays everything, it's got, it's got a ton of arcade games on there, a ton of stand-up arcade games, it plays everything, alright, that's why, multi arcade machine, yes, alright, so anyway, here's the games that are on, you, you got, you got a bunch on there, there's over 7,000 ROMs on this crazy thing, and then some, okay, so anyway, right trigger to go down page by page, left trigger to go up page by page, D-pad down, D-pad up, A to select, okay, follow the on-screen instructions, you're good, Y options to set up an external drive or whatever, if you want to do that, you can, you can put ROMs on this thing and access them through the external drive and all that. Once you're done in here, hit the guide button, Xbox Home, really simple. Now, alright, classic games, of course of another color, okay, that cannot be played with it in online mode, you have to run it in bypass mode, okay, I'm going to show you what that is. Alright, now, we'll go on over here, if you try to play a classic game on here, the end result is absolutely nothing, you get a big black screen with nothing going on. Not cool. You gotta be able to run this thing, so we're gonna run it in bypass mode. Bypass mode is simply this. When you wanna play a classic game, power the console off. Alright, then what you're gonna do, power, eject, leave the tray, hanging out, until it boots, and reach the dashboard. Okay? Now system booted. And we're waiting for FSD, okay? Do not push that train until you reach FSD, all right? Just for the simple fact is we don't want to try and send a signal to it saying, oh, we don't want bypass mode, okay? You know, I mean, then you try to play a classic game, it won't work, all right? You'll notice no plugins, no nothing across the screen. You will have an IP for your local area network, so that way you can get to this thing through Xbox 360 Neighborhood, through FTP, WinSCP, FileZilla, or if you're using a phone, you can go to the App Store and get an FTP app and connect to it. Okay, and then you can transfer files and do whatever it is that you want to do. Alright, so anyway, now what we'll do is we will close the tray. Now we will go ahead, we will hit the guide button. Alright, now we will go on over to a classic game. We will play the classic game. Okay, now we'll play. You will see the logo pops up, everything pops up, everything is good to go. There we are. Okay, and then the game is going to play, it's going to load, and everything's going to be all happy. See? And there you are. Okay, and. I'll show you that the game does run. There is no issues with it or anything like that. And there you go. And you can select whatever you want or whatever. When you're done with the classic game, hit the guide button. You notice the guide is normal here, okay? Xbox Home, yes. All right. Now, one other thing. If you want to connect this thing remotely, you can through your computer. Okay, like I said, WinSCP, which is an FTP client. FileZilla, which is an FTP client. Xbox 360 Neighborhood, which was made for dev kits, which, you know, can access this thing. Same thing as FTP, you can, you know, copy and paste files, folders, or that crap, okay? Look, you got an IP, 192.168.1.20, okay? That's the IP of the Xbox, all right? So, if you want to get into FTP, and you want to start modifying uh, files and moving them over and all that crap, well, it's very, very easy, okay? What we'll do is, we'll, under Windows, with Windows, Linux, you're going to use FileZilla, okay? There's WinSCP, we're going to open that up, <clears throat> okay? If my computer lets me open it up because this is Microsoft, of course. All right, now there you are. Okay, now the protocol we're going to choose, we're going to choose FTP. Okay, host name 192.168.1.20. So I think it was anyway. I'm going to go to port 21. Okay, username Xbox. Okay, password Xbox. All right, log in. There it goes, it's connected, there's a hard drive, there's everything right there, okay? This is the remote, this is the Xbox right here, okay? If you go to hard drive, 
there's all your stuff right there, your launch files, everything else, okay, your games file, there's, there's your folder for your games and everything else, you can go back up, okay, compatibility, your content folder, where all your stuff is stored for content for all the games, everything here, pretty much easy, okay, and we'll go back up there, alright, and we'll back out to the main, and that, that's your main hard drive right there, so that's everything right there. If you have a USB stick or you got stuff on the hard drive, you could take it from here and copy and paste it, okay, like this. Just bring it over here, you see, and it'll put it there, okay? You know, I mean, really easy. Kind of like that. See? And there it is, okay? So pretty easy just to copy and paste, and then I'm going to get this off of here because it doesn't need to be here. All right? Yes! Okay, and there you go. Alright, so anyway, that's how you get to, that's how you're able to get to, uh, you know, th this thing without a USB stick, okay, remotely through your network, okay, it's very versatile, you can do a lot of things with this crazy thing, alright, so anyway, that's how you get on there, yes, I want to disconnect, okay, and there we go, and now I'm going to exit out of you, and then I'm going to exit out of you, close, I said close, thank you, alright, and then we're back here, okay, so listen, Zach, I hope I was able to uh, explain this thing to you. Um, you should have any problems. If you do, you've got my phone number. You can text me or whatever. You know, I mean, as I give all of my all of my clients, you know, my phone number and everything. Now, because it's just real easy. It's easier to text over than, than Facebook and trying to find out who is what and where and how because there's so many different names. It's not even funny. All right. So anyway, listen. Thank you for your business. Greatly appreciate it. Ship it out today. You'll have a tracking number. Life is good. Guys, hope you all have a great day. Okay. Be cool. All right, enjoy the day, and uh, i got a lot more to do, a lot more to do. Anyway, you all have a good one, guys. I'm going to holler at you later. Take it easy, guys. Have a good one.